What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh- If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, and comment. And without further ado, let's get into the video. This is what I'm not gonna do in 2024 as a content creator. Number one, I'm not going to compare myself, you guys. I'm not comparing myself. My content is my content. I do not have to follow trends. You don't have to follow trends. Do whatever you feel is best for you. Just like right now, I said, you know what? This week, I'm gonna try to film 10 YouTube videos because I want to get back onto my YouTube journey I miss YouTube I love YouTube I just love talking so I want to get back into it and even though that doesn't fit the standard algorithm as to what YouTube wants to see and everybody else I want to do what I want to do I'm not going to compare myself and that's another topic I'm gonna talk about later but I'm just saying that to say that I'm not going to compare myself to what trends are going on is doing their videos this way I need to do my videos this way no I want to do my videos the way I want to do my videos because that is super important you do not want to compare yourself as a content creator a lot of people also and i talked about this in my last video about waiting your turn a lot of people have a problem with seeing other people doing the things that they do as well and so they unfollow them or block them because they're like i don't want to compare myself and although that may be valid be so secure within yourself that you don't look at the next person and feel like oh i'm comparing myself to this person or oh you know i don't want to see this or i don't want to see that you're supposed to be so secure within yourself that nothing and i mean nothing can shake you your content creators have their own personal stories that some people are doing editing videos some people are doing lifestyle videos some people are doing cooking videos you cannot compare your apples to their oranges when you want to be a content creator you have to be head strong so you do not fall into that trap of comparing yourself to other creators and i know a lot of people want to be creators now and a lot of people don't have that creative mindset so it's it's like oh, I gotta compare myself to this person because I want to do what this person is doing if you are a real true creative do exactly what it is that you're meant to do and that's gonna lead me into my second topic which is doing what you actually want to create creating what you actually want to create and that goes hand in hand with comparing you do not want to go and look at somebody else's page and look at somebody else's videos and be like oh well this worked for them let me do it no feel what you feel inside I create what you feel that you need to create just because it works for that person doesn't mean it's going to work for you it's a lot of things that i can easily jump on the trend and do and i might go viral but that doesn't mean that's going to create me my longevity community that i am longing for so we have to get in the mindset of actually just doing what we love to do and you know if the algorithm if the people that don't rock with it like your audience is going to find you like do not compare and also do not do what you see everyone else doing create what you truly want to create and be original it's okay to be original you don't have to continue to mimic other people and the way that they're doing things i understand that we got this thing called the algorithm now it is harder doing it that way because you don't get that quick instant gratification that you are looking for but that's okay so that brings me to my third point which is being patient i am no longer going to rush the process be patient you know i struggle with you know every time because i film like tiktoks every day like i post on tiktok every day i'm trying to get better with youtube i'm here on youtube now like we here like we here i'm not going nowhere even though i be posting on tiktok every day i be like dang like my videos is not hitting like i'm not getting a thousand views i'm not getting this i'm not getting that like what is going on and then i had to realize that you know it's going to take its time you know it's not going to just pop off just because i drop a video it does not work like that in this life we have to understand that good things take time and good things come to those who wait it's easy to go viral on social media but once you go viral do you have the community and do you have what it takes to actually sustain that virality a lot of people have to factor in you know when you think about you know the time that it's going as someone who does content creation full time of course you want your videos to do well because you have to pay your bills and baby them bills is still due and you know i'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm blessed to say i make some money off of social media i'm still you know adjusting from being 
a, a waitress to now doing content creation full time and now that content creation has my full attention you know of course i'm like ah, i want this to pop off like this i want it to pop off but i have to trust the process even though i know i need the funds to be rolling in so i can provide for myself it's going to come as long as you're doing what you love to do the money is going to come and everything else you just have to wait and be patient another thing that i'm not doing as a content creator in 2024 is procrastinating and we're going to talk about procrastinating in another video so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you guys are able to catch that video when it drops but i'm no longer procrastinating like today i was like Ugh, i don't know what i'm gonna do today i was like you know what i can do you know what i can do i can go film some youtube videos so guess what i'm doing i'm filming youtube videos sometimes you just have to get up and do it you cannot think about it. you can't think about like oh this and third like a lot of people be wanting to think about so much like so much and we cannot think about all of the stuff that doesn't matter what matters is you got up you're filming the video and you tried that's all you can do don't worry about how your hair looks don't worry about what your outfit looks like and i'm saying this because that used to be me i used to be like oh my hair's not done my nails not done my 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 clothes not done and i just will put it off put it off and put it off and put it off and it's not even that i feel any kind of way even though it was a time where I didn't want to post because my nails wasn't done. Bitch, hello. Hello, as if that matters. Like, the, 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 I, what that girl said in the post, um, procrastination is the arrogance of thinking God is going to give you a second chance. You done procrastinated on filming YouTube videos when that YouTube video that you filmed probably could have been the one to skyrocket your channel. So stop procrastinating also stop trying to be perfect that's another thing i'm not doing as a content creator in 2024 all of this trying to be little miss perfect and trying to you know be clean and and, and do all of the things that they say i should do i'm not doing okay i'm not doing it if i want to get here get on here in the bed it's not made up in the background even though it is kind of made up in the background even though if the if the bed wasn't made up okay i'm here i show up if my hair and makeup wasn't done, okay i'm here i show up if my nails not done okay i'm here i show up if i'm stun stumbling and stuttering over my words it's okay i show up stop trying to be perfect trying to be perfect and also procrastinating is what's going to hinder your growth and i know that because it hindered mine i wanted to be so perfect perfection led me to procrastinate so that led me to take a break which led me to miss out on money which led me to keep a job and so now that i don't have a job now i have to readjust and now I have no choice but to not be so um caught up on the perfectionist the perfectionism of things like i just have to pose and i just am so in love with this new journey that um i am going on you guys with just you know the direction i am taking my youtube my tiktok and just showing up as authentically me i don't have the time to sit here and worry about other things because you know you just have to go for it you have to sleep breathe and eat this content creation shit if you really want to do it let me to my next point another thing i'm not doing in 2024 content creator in 2024 is basically i'm i'm going to make sure i'm not going to not post like if i have to get up every day and film that's what i'm going to have to do I have 10 videos that I have to film by the end of the week and I'm knocking out two today so if y'all see me with the same outfit oh well I do not care baby listen go and watch my old YouTube videos baby when back when I was in my grind baby this is the come up we gonna we gonna do this shit again because I'm just in a new era I'm in a new era so I'm back at it like you have to really like just do this shit. like you have to do it for real like you can't think too hard about it you have to just go like 10 times hard and just get up and do it it's it's hard when you think of it like that but it's it's it comes if it comes natural it just comes natural like you have to just get up and just post like get up and just film like i don't have time to be worrying about all this extra stuff that i'm not filming because if i can't film then how y'all gonna know about me right how y'all gonna know i don't care if i gotta film 10 20 15 100 000 youtube videos a week one of these videos is gonna hit and i'm gonna be on my journey and i'm just doing what i what i'm called to do and the last thing that i'm not gonna be doing as a content creator in 2024 is i'm not going to not 
collab so i'm going to be making sure i'm going to be collabing this year okay i'm going to collab this year and i used to collab like a lot in the past and i kind of slowed up on collabs which collabs kind of slowed up period for everybody but i feel like we need to get back into that collaboration like where's all of the collabs like you know how you watch one of your favorite youtubers and then you watch another favorite youtuber and then they do a video and it just seems like a disney channel crossover can we bring that back like i miss collabing so i'm going to be setting up a lot of collabs since i'm back on my youtube journey and we're gonna be getting to it like we just doing what, what we gotta do to make it man like as a content creator you first and foremost gotta pray about keep god first and just pray about it and just do it faith for that work is there as long as you got your faith and as long as you put in that work you got it you got it like don't let nothing discourage you don't let people discourage you also too don't be so caught up on the support like a lot of people that really ride for me and support me is people i don't even know like i don't know y'all from a can of paint but y'all be supporting me and i just love that don't worry about these people that you know in real life that's not supporting you it's just because they place limitations on you and they can't fathom the fact that you are growing beyond the limitations that they place on you so First and foremost, pray. Make sure you're not procrastinating. Don't be worried about being perceived. Don't worry about being perfect. Collab. And just go for it. Just do it. Just film. Film your content. Post the content. Film it and post. And I think a lot of us film a lot, but we just don't post. Film that content and post that content. Even if you got to go back in, edit it, and repurpose and, and post that content again. Because, y'all, that's what I've been doing. Free game. That's what I've been doing, y'all. I've been, like, repurposing some of my old YouTube videos onto TikTok when I don't feel like making TikToks. You got to get in the field that I set a goal for myself this week. And I got up today and I actually filmed my two videos. And I went and filmed some TikTok B-roll videos to promote my um, ebook. So also, if you guys are watching this, make sure you guys get the Mentally Motivated ebook. It will be linked in the description box below. So make sure you guys support your girl on that. That being said, I hope this video can be very helpful to you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and comment. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. There is more to come. Bye, and I will see y'all in the next one.